Welcome to the Cybersecurity Evaluation Tool, or CSET. This tool was developed by the United States Department of Homeland Security. It provides a systematic and repeatable process for critical infrastructure asset owners to assess and improve the cybersecurity posture of their industrial control systems and information networks. The process starts by the formation of a team of control system engineers, network administrators, IT specialists, cybersecurity staff, and managers. CSET assessments cannot be completed effectively by one individual. At the start of a new assessment, select New Assessment on the CSET landing page. Enter information that identifies the facility being assessed and the assessment team members. To add a contact, simply click Add Contact and enter their name and email in the field. If the contact has been previously associated with you, their name can auto-populate. Adding contacts makes it easier to associate them with observations in your assessment. The Security Assurance Level, or SAL, is a relative measure of the impact of a security violation. In CSET, it is used to match the generated question set with the required security controls for that security level. In other words, the higher the SAL, the more requirements will have to be met. To work through a consequence-based SAL, click on the General Risk-Based SAL option. First, scroll to the Injury section, then drag the slider to the estimated number of people injured should the worst-case scenario occur. Do this for both on-site and off-site consequences. Then, move to the next section. To assign impact levels to identified security categories, select the Federal Information Processing Standards, or FIPS Publication 199. The higher your SAL level, the more questions you will see in the assessment. At the Cybersecurity Standard Selection page, you can select one or more standards to include in your assessment. The standards are grouped into categories to easily find the one for you. Next is the Diagram section. It provides a place to graphically capture a picture of the control system or information technology IT, network. It incorporates simple network analysis features to identify areas of vulnerability and recommendations for protection. It is used to create the foundation for the question set that is incorporated into the overall assessment and analysis. With this drawing tool, the user is able to import a pre-built template from a list of templates provided with the tool. For more complex networks, you may load and then modify a pre-built network template. CSET will then generate question sets based on the diagram contents to determine the security compliance of the system. Or build the diagram from scratch using the drawing tools and available objects and shapes. Network-related properties can be assigned to each of the included components. Layers, groupings, and zones can be applied to the diagram. Changes made to the diagram are saved in real time. Save As will download a .csetwd file. You can import .csetd files, legacy CSET diagrams, or export to different file types such as images or Visio files. Adding components to the diagram will add questions to your assessment. Answering questions is the most time-consuming part of the process. This is where the knowledge, experience, and resources of the full assessment team come into play. Questions will be generated based upon the standards selected and the contents of the network diagram. The tool accommodates two modes of assessments, each featuring different sets of standards. The first mode, called Questions Mode, has you answer questions that are written in plain language and cover all the topics and requirements found in the major information control system and information technology standards. This type of assessment is recommended for most users. Read each question carefully 
and provide the answer that best reflects the current status of the system being evaluated. The requirements-based option is recommended for users in regulated industries, such as nuclear power, natural gas transmission, and electrical power, where it is important to meet the requirements exactly as they are written. If the question or requirement is not applicable to your system, mark NA. This will ignore the question so that it is not included in the final analysis. ALT means that an alternative method of compliance is in use. That is, the intent of the requirement is being met through a different process than that specified by the question or requirement. Use the Details panel to provide additional context to individual questions. The Details section provides the actual requirement text. The supplemental information contains related information that can help you to understand a question better. The Comments field may be used for entering comments, questions, or notes related to the question or your answer. Documents related to the topic may also be added. Procedures, policies, forms, and diagrams are examples of documents you may want to upload to help explain or clarify your answer. They will be stored with the assessment file and will be available for export anytime the assessment is open. The References provides links to the specific section being referenced in the standard itself, as well as additional helpful documents. You can also create an observation to provide information about an issue, potential impacts, recommendations for rectifying the issue, and potential vulnerabilities related to the issue. You can enter comments for question feedback that later in the CSET process can be emailed to DHS or the FAA. If the ALT answer is selected, it is strongly recommended that you describe the actual compliance method using the Alternate Description Justification field. Marking a question for review flags it so you can easily find it later if you want to add more information or review your answer. You can also mark a question as reviewed to indicate that an answer has been reviewed by another party. Selecting the requirements-based mode will result in the actual requirement text being seen on this screen. If you have questions about how CSET works or how to use a particular screen, select the user guide from the help menu. A pop-up help system will open. Use the content tree on the left to browse to different topics or use the index and search features to find specific keywords. Once all the questions and requirements have been addressed, it is time to see the results of the assessment. This can be done in two ways. The first is to use the on-screen charts that present both summary and detailed analysis information. The Executive Summary section allows you to add some customizable text to your reports. There are five report formats, ranging from a quick Executive Summary to a detailed breakdown of all questions and answers in your assessment. Also included is a Site Cybersecurity Plan that provides an overview of the security requirements of the system and describes the controls in place or planned for meeting those requirements. Clicking on these reports will provide you with an HTML version. Another feature of CSET is the Resource Library. It is an excellent resource to help you better understand and resolve the reported concerns and to improve the security of your systems. It contains a variety of standards, reports, templates, white papers, plans, and other documents. To access the Resource Library, click on the Resource Library link on the top left of the CSET toolbar. There are two ways to find information in the resource library. The first is to use the document tree. Choose the category related to your interest and open the subsections to find the document you want. Click the document title to open it. The bottom two headings in the tree are specific to the procurement language and the DHS Catalog of Recommendations documents. These are two of the most downloaded documents from the program and have been expanded into subjects by themselves. The second way to find information in the resource library is to use the search feature. The process is pretty standard. Enter the text to search for, and the tool will return a list of documents that relate to that text.
This tutorial was designed to give you a brief introduction to CSET, its uses, and its features. See the user guide or the CSET help system for more detailed information.